this recording, we will go through the basic setting of MTS332 R10, before you start using it on the field. On the top of screen, there are several icons. The first one is Bluetooth. If you want to open the Bluetooth, press menu, select F4 config, turn to the next page. Select the first item, Bluetooth. Press F1 to open or close the Bluetooth. Press F2 to change the name and password. The second icon is Target. Press the button T to switch the target among Prism, Sheet and Non-Prism mode. The third one is Compensator. Press the dash in 1 seconds to open the setting page of Electronic Compensator. X here means compensation by single axis. X and Y means double axis. In some occasion, when you need multiple measurements to ensure the accuracy, press F2 mode. The measure mode will be changed among single measure, multiple measure or tracking mode. If you want to change the unit of measurement, turn to page 2, press F3 meter and feed to switch the unit of distance. Then, let me show you some of the other settings. Like, how to close the beeping sound and backlight. Press menu, F4 config. Let's go down to the next page. Press F3 other set. In the second page, press F1 beeping to open or close the beeping sound of keypad. Press F3 LCD backlight to open or close the backlight of screen. If you want to make it simple, click the star key twice to open or close it quickly. And those are the basic settings of NTS 332 or 10. There are some useful tips for your daily work with NTS 332 R10 total station. The keypad can be divided into several parts. We have four functional keys in the left side to select the menu or swift the page. In the first line of right side, we have three quick keys and a power key. M is for menu. D is target, press it to switch the target. The icon on the screen will change. Press the star key to change the settings of LCD contrast, measure mode, tilt sensor, temperature and pressure, laser plummet. Also it can turn on or off the backlight of screen. The yellow keys are basic measurement keys. Angle measurement, distance measurement, coordinate measurement and stake out. Then we have 12 alphanumeric keys. Press the dot to activate the laser pointer. Press the dash to open the tilt sensor. In the last line, we have two hot keys. If you use a function frequently, you can assign it to K1 or K2 for a quick access. Press it in two seconds to define it. Then the last two keys in blue is escape and enter. Press escape to exit the current page. Press enter to confirm the entry. In this episode, we will introduce how to create a new job in NTS 332 or 10. Click M for menu, press the functional key F1 for data collect. In default, the total station will select the last job, or press F2 list to select the file from data list. Here, I will enter another name as a new job. Press F3 to switch the entry mode. For example, WP1. Press enter to confirm. The points, which you measured later, will be saved under this job. When you create a new job, the instrument will automatically generate two files with the same name. Select F3 Memory Manage, F1 File Maintain to Rename, Delete or check the data in those files. One is measured data, the other is coordinate data. Then, Let's back to previous page. Press F2 to check points and measure data, coordinate data or codes.
Before we get started, let's have a quick look at those options under Data Collect. We should set up the station by occupied point and back site orientation. Then, go down for measurement. If you want to measure the target with codes, press F2 input code here. The codes can be edited or deleted. Press F3 config to change the settings of measurement based on your own habits. Now, let's set up the station. Press F1, input the occupied point. Press F3 occupied, input the point name, or press F2 list to select a point as station. Press Enter to confirm it. Enter the code and instrument height. Press F4 to save the data. Next, let's choose the back site for orientation. Press F2, input back site. Press F3 to select the known point from data list. NTS 332R10 calculates the azimuth from station to back site. Aim at the back site, press F4 to confirm the setting. Then, we can revise the code and reflector height here. Press F4 to measure the back site. The result can be saved into memory. The station setup has finished. We can start the measurement. Press F1 to input the point name, code and reflector height. Press F3 to select the measurement by angle, slope distance or coordinate. Press F4 to repeat the measurement, the measurements mode will be same as the previous point. And those are the introduction of data collect for today. This video will give an overview of how to set up a NTS 332R10 total station using resection method. When the total station is not located over any of known point, resection helps to define the coordinate of station from measurements. It requires at least two backside points with distance measurement or three backside points with angle measurement. Now, let's choose resection under data collect. First of all, enter the station name, code and instrument height, like PO1. Select two points to calculate the coordinate of station. The coordinate of points can be selected from memory or inputted by manual. Move the navigation key to select the first point, press enter to confirm the coordinate. Aim at the target center, click F1 to measure the target. Then repeat the steps to measure the second and third point. The total station will calculate the residual error of horizontal distance and zenith. Press F1 next to add the third point, or press F4 to calculate the coordinate of station. Press F4, the coordinate of occupied point will be saved. In this video, we will look at how to select and stake a point using NTS 332R10 total station. Choose menu. Programs, select the first one, stake out. This program calculates the required elements to stake out points from data list or manually entered coordinates. Let's select point SO2 as an example. Enter the point name, or select it in data list. Press enter to read the data. Press F4 to confirm. Enter the reflector height, we will gonna check the angle and distance at first. Press enter or F4. Rotate and adjust the telescope by horizontal tangent screw. Make the angle of difference close to zero. When ready, press F1 to measure the distance, or press F2 to measure the coordinate. Move the target based on the guidance. Measure again until all the value close to zero.
when it is good to stake out, mark the point on the ground. Press F3 to measure and save it into record. We can change the point name, for example, PO2. Or change the code. Then, it takes us back to the stakeout page to choose the next point. Today, we will introduce how to import data into Total Station. Create an txt file at the root directory of USB stick. The data should include point number, north, east, zenith coordinate and code. Each value is separated by a comma. Insert USB stick in your total station. Press menu, memory manage, select the third one, data import. Press F1. Use the navigation key to select the file we want. Select the order of coordinate based on the data type. Next, we need to select a file to save those points. Press enter. The points are successfully imported to the selected file. Back to the previous page to check the imported data. Press F2, coordinate data. Select the file name. Now, we can see the points are saved. Import the codes to total station by USB stick if you don't want to enter the codes manually. Create the code file by txt. There must be a number and a comma before those codes. Then, copy the file to the root directory of USB stick. Repeat the steps. Import the code data. Press enter to select the file in your USB stick. The codes will be imported into the memory. Let's check the codes. Back to previous page, search the data in code list. Press F1 to check the first code. In this page, we can edit, delete, or check the last or next page of codes. When you finish the job, you will have two choices to import or export the data. By USB or by Bluetooth. Insert the USB stick. Press menu. F3 memory manage, let's select F4 data export. Here we have two options, we will introduce them one by one. Press F1 USB stick, we can export the raw data or coordinate data in TXT format. Choose the data type. Press F2 list to select the file or press F3 to input the file name. Press enter, rename the document. Here I will save the raw data as WP1. And then, save the coordinate data as WP2. The coordinate data can be saved as those four types. Now, let's check the file which saved in your USB stick. The raw data includes file name, serial number of total station, units, point name, instrument height, code, coordinate and the other information of points. The coordinate data includes point name and coordinate. Next, I will show you how to export the data by Bluetooth. Select Bluetooth for data export. Press F1, export to file. Repeat the steps as previous. Here we can find the empty device list. Press F1 search to find a new device. Press F3 last or F4 next to turn the pages when necessary. Press enter to select the device. After pairing the device, the data in TXT format will be wirelessly exported to your computer. NTS332R10 also support data transfer to mobile phone. Here, I will send the coordinate data to my Android mobile phone as an example. Connect the PDA or mobile phone with Total Station. Click Enter to select the device. Accept the file on your mobile file. 
Then the data transfer is finished. We can share the data freely in your daily work. Today we will introduce how to connect the total station with your data controller. If you want to check the result on data controller, the built-in Bluetooth on NDS 332R10 ensures a long distance, stable connection with your controller. Let's use Field Genius by Microservi as an example. Before connecting with your controller, please starting your total station and staying in the basic measurement page. Select Instrument for Connection. The instrument type should be Total Station. And click Edit. Let's select Model and Communication. Click Bluetooth Device List to find the Total Station. Press Search to search the Bluetooth device. Choose the correct one, and input the code, 1234. The PIN code can be changed on the setting page of Total Station. Press OK to confirm. Press Connect to connect it with Total Station. Now you can enjoy your daily work linking between Total Station and Data Controller. Let's measure a point. Rotate the telescope to aim at the target. Click the Total Station icon to triggering the measurement.